The Miss America pageant is rich with tradition, and from the positive response last year, we think we started a whole new tradition by screening home videos featuring our 10 semifinalists. The videos are a new way to get to know our contestants just a little bit better at home, in their community, and with their family. You'll be seeing this year's videos as each of our semifinalists walks the runway. Remember, our judges have now scored our semifinalists in swimsuit and talent, and now it's on to evening wear, worth another 15% of this year's and this evening's competition. Here they are, looking their loveliest. Tonight's 10 semifinalists competing in evening wear. Trisha Schaefer, Miss Kansas. Um, I'm from Liberal, Kansas, which is a very modern, conservative town in Kansas. I have an incredible family, a wonderful support I've always have had. Um, that means very much to me and has meant a lot to me in the growth and development that I've had of myself and the confidence that I've had to go out and to accomplish the goals that I've set. Um, I'm very proud of my state. I love its diversity. I love the people that are there. Um, I love that everyone has an appreciation for God and for family and for the simple things of life. Leah Mack, Miss Ohio. for people to know that I'm not perfect and that's why I enjoy spending so much time with children because they're willing to accept you in spite of your imperfections and they still believe that you're wonderful and the reality is that we are all wonderful in spite of our imperfections and I think that adults have a tendency to forget that sometimes and if we were all to be able to grasp the fact that we are each unique and priceless individuals it would be a lot happier world to live in. Jennifer Alexis Macris, Miss New Jersey. I think what really keeps me going every day is the need to, to live each day to the fullest and feel like I've improved since the day before. And I really think I owe that positive outlook on life to my family. For as long as I can remember, my family has instilled in me the belief that I can do anything I want in life as long as I'm willing to give it 110% and never ever give up the dream. And I think that's really what makes me who I am. Colin Johnson, Miss Virginia. times in 23 years uh, coming from a military family I've been exposed to many different cultures so learning as much as I can about other places has been my passport to feeling comfortable in any given situation um, three words to describe myself I think would be funny sincere and spontaneous and I love my two little dogs Susie and Happy and I just think about them all the time and anytime I'm feeling down I just think about my family Tiffany Storm, Miss Indiana. I've always thought of myself as a chameleon of sorts, a jack of all trades and talents and personalities. And 
I get that from my family, most definitely. Uh, they're wonderful. I have three brothers and two parents that are just incredible. And I have a dog, Mona, who is just talking about unconditional love. She is it. And uh, I come from Bloomington, Indiana. I'm a Hoosier, and I am so proud to say that. I mean, I am just can't, I cannot wait to get on that stage. I become alive. My mother once told me that if you know where you come from, that you can go anywhere, and I believe that she's right. I have a wonderful family, and when I was 12, I found out I had a sister, and that was a wonderful surprise, and I found that we share a lot. We have a lot in common that we both have a love for music and a very eclectic taste in music. And uh, even though my family is spread out all over the United States, I hope they're all watching me tonight. Heather Whitestone, Miss Alabama. to dance when I was five and the reason my mother put me in dance class was to help with my speech therapy but she didn't realize that I fell in love with ballet and it become a way to worship God. I love to go to the beach especially sailing in the boat because it makes me feel belong to the nature and I always talk to the ocean. Rebecca Blowen, Miss Mississippi. I think for the first time in my life, I'm enjoying the different parts of Rebecca. The intellect, um, the businesswoman, the laid-back chick, and the childlike. I love being childlike and I'm really enjoying that. I can laugh at my strengths and I can really laugh at my imperfections. It's amazing that I don't have to be perfect. You know, what a relief. It's just great. Arian Archer. Miss Texas. I'm a senior music education major at Texas Tech University in Lubbock, and I'm involved with different activities like the university choir and the magical singers, which we do a show every Christmas to raise funds for the music department. I have a family of five. My brothers are Matt and Cody, who are 17 and 13. I like to do different things like reading and swimming, and I love to do outdoors like fishing. And I also love to work with children. Yvonne Kudana, Miss Montana. I have lived in Montana for the last 12 years of my life, and I feel like this is my home. This is where I belong. And I think that's the reason why I want to become a real physician, to practice medicine in a place where uh, the healthcare professionals are in need. 
and I'm just looking forward to coming back to Montana to practice because it's a place I want to live, the place I want to raise my children, and it is the last best place on earth. The tension is beginning to mount here at the convention center, and it's going to get even more exciting when we return with the announcement of tonight's five finalists. All right, we're back, and the old convention hall is really rocking. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live from the convention center in Atlantic City. And for 25 memorable years, right from this stage, Burt Parks hosted the Miss America pageant. And who could ever forget Burt's wonderful version of the Miss America theme song? Each year in his honor, talent scholarships are awarded to eight of our non-finalists. This year's scholarships go to... Miss Arizona, Stacey Agron. Miss California, Jennifer Hansen. Miss Michigan, Maria Malay Kamara. Miss Massachusetts, Sharon M. Julie. Miss Arkansas, Beth Ann Rankin. Miss Connecticut, Mary Grace Santagata. Miss North Carolina, Dana Ann Stevenson. Miss Illinois, Chuti Teo. And a special interview scholarship goes to Miss Florida, Megan Welch. Congratulations to you all, ladies. By the way, if you'd like to be a contestant or a volunteer or a sponsor in the local or state level, please call the Miss America organization at the number below for more information during regular business hours. Right now, the judges' votes are being gathered up and tallied as they narrow tonight's ten semifinalists down to our final five. Four of those lucky young women will head back to school with a generous university scholarship, and the remaining finalists will walk away with a $35,000 scholarship and the title of Miss America 1995. All right, if the judges are ready, may we have the decision. Thank you very much, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Uh, here it is. Now, before we reveal the names to you, once again, our 10 semifinalists. Trisha Schaefer, Miss Kansas. <laughs> Leah Mack, Miss Ohio. Jennifer Alexis Macris, Miss New Jersey. Cullen Johnson, Miss Virginia. Tiffany Storm, Miss Indiana. Andrea Cron, Miss Georgia. Heather Whitestone, Miss Alabama. Rebecca Blauen, Miss Mississippi. Arian Archer, Miss Texas. And Yvonne Kudaner, Miss Montana. Ladies, you've all come a long way. Good luck and congratulations to all of you. Reach, please read those names. All right, I got them right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in random order, here are the five finalists, Miss America. Andrea Cron, Miss Georgia. <laughs> Heather Whitestone, Miss Alabama. Backwards, Miss New Jersey. Colin Johnson, Miss Virginia. And Tiffany Storm, Miss Indiana. Congratulations to our five finalists. We'll give them now a chance to go catch your breath as we get ready for tonight's all-important interview. But first, it tastes great and it's alcohol-free. 
Rembrandt Mouth Refreshing Rinse. Let's go get some, Reach. All right, we're coming down to the wire right now. I'm here with our five finalists to ask them each uh, a question about their platform, the social issue that concerns them the most. And this is where anything can happen. That's because the answers our finalists give are worth up to 10 points. And those points are added to their previous scores for a grand total, giving our judges a final decision. Ladies, before we get to your uh, platforms and, and the judging, I'd like to chat with you briefly and just ask you some random questions, get to know you a little bit better. All week, that's all they've been talking about was the fact that you were going to do the swimsuit competition in bare feet. Mm -hmm. How was it? How did you feel about it? Did it bother you at all? No, it didn't bother me at all because I got three pedicures. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Well, good. Think, <laughs> always thinking ahead. Uh, Heather, you know, Heather Whitestone, our, our Miss Alabama, of course, you may have read, is hearing impaired. No hearing at all in one ear, 5% hearing in the other. So I must ask you, you dance so beautifully. Do you hear the music? Um, I can hear some sound with my, he my hearing aid. But what I did, I feel the music and listen to the music for the first time for a couple of times. Uh -huh. Anytime, and then I count the number with the music that I memorized in my heart, and that's how I did. That's how you do it. Great. <laughs> Jennifer, do you remember exactly where you won, where you were one year ago tonight, right now, this moment? I do. I was sitting right back there for the first time. I had no idea that I was going to even try this thing. But oh, whoa. is that right? But you were here in the, in the center. I was here, way in the back. No idea what was going to happen. No. Cullen, you know, so many people um, t touch you as they pass through your life, but who would you say is mostly di directly responsible right now for you being in that seat? I would probably say my mother because she made me practice an hour every day for the piano whether i liked it or not so um my mother was a great influence on me and my father as well so i would say my parents oh that's terrific and tiffany <laughs> tiffany storm when did you decide that you wanted to be miss america do you remember exactly when it was oh yes <laughs> last year i got back from japan and um i i worked with a couple shows and i thought about doing the local pageant in indianapolis miss capital city and I thought about it a couple times, actually, and I, I knew that if I didn't have my talent, um, breast cancer education is very important to me, but I have my talent, I was ready to go, and I was like, I can do this. I want to give back to society. So just in the last year. Yeah. All right, terrific. All right, here's your platform question now. Um, Andrea, your platform is parenting skills, solutions for child abuse. Here's the question. What is the difference between appropriate parental discipline and child abuse? I like to think that, that abuse doesn't have to be violent and that if we discipline our children but we also give them an explanation for what they did wrong, then they learn and then they can grow. And because parents are so important because they ultimately make us who we are. And if we can teach our children to get along and teach them uh, better skills for being parents themselves, then we create a better society. You're going to pursue this in your family law courses? I certainly am. Good to you. <laughs> All right, Heather. Your platform is entitled, Anything is Possible. Yeah. How can we remove the barriers that limit us from realizing our full and unique potential, as you did? How do we remove the barriers? Yeah. Is that what you're asking? How do you let people know that anything is possible? Yes. Then my good attitude helped me to get through hard times and believing in myself helped me to overcome the obstacle. And I have vowed to be a five important steps that will help them to be very successful. That's why I created a STARS program. You've created a five-star point program. Yeah, that five, it STARS have five points, mm -hmm. and they should help the people remember these five important steps. Yeah. So you think if it worked for you, it could work for them? Oh, it worked for me. See, I experience it every day. Okay. It really does help. Very good. Uh, Jennifer, terrific. Your platform is child abduction prevention. Here's the question. Is the issue of child abduction more prevalent today, or are we just hearing more about it through the various media? 
Well, I think the issue of child abduction is always prevalent because, unfortunately, there are always going to be children who will be abducted. I think what happens in many cases is that when kids are abducted for the months following, it's a very, very big issue. For example, we had a child abducted and killed in New Jersey, Megan Kanka, and everyone is rallying around it. But I think the problem is that sometimes people stop paying attention after the months go by. So what I would do as Miss America is make sure that no one ever stopped fighting. No one ever forgot the children that are missing and the children that have been killed. Yeah, that was a major case here in New Jersey, sure wasn't was. it? <laughs> Colin, your platform was multicultural awareness. Yes. And the question is this. Do you think the United States can remain a world leader as long as some people refuse to learn another language and learn about other people's cultures? First of all, let me clarify, we are the greatest country in the entire world, but it's up to us to keep it that way. I feel that if we all take an initiative and learn as much as we can about other cultures, not only abroad, but within our country, then we can all function better together in society. It's very important. Cullen's dad is a Navy admiral stationed off the island of hey, Haiti he's watching tonight. watching me on TV now, so I hope you had a satellite dish. Good luck. <laughs> and uh, Tiffany Storm, your platform, Reach and Teach breast health here's the question what would be the value of joint government and corporate support of breast cancer research we are making some great strides right now in breast cancer research i'm sure everybody's been prevalent to the news right now with the new uh, gene mutation bcra1 it's exciting news i am so happy to be here tonight to represent so many breast cancer patients back home and it's very important that we keep the fundraising going. We are 10 years away from really making this mutation um, a, a major part of discovery in breast cancer. And why did you pick this as your platform? Uh, the past five years, this uh, disease has affected my family three times, and the youngest was 28 years old. So I do focus on self-examination a great deal. All right. Thank you, ladies, very, very much. You're terrific. The best of luck to you. We're going to return to crown Miss America 1995. But now, Claro will let you in on the secret to long-lasting gray coverage. Lasting color by loving care. We hope all of you at home have selected your favorite finalists because we're just moments away from tonight's big announcement. Uh, Kimberly, uh, while the judges are busy adding up the scores, and I think they're almost done, we, we're getting ready to crown the next Miss America. Would you tell us about your plans for the future? Well, I plan to go back to college with my Miss America scholarships. My competing in the Miss America pageant system afforded me over $50,000 in scholarships in which I can finish my accounting degree and maybe go on to law school. Oh, Not going to pursue the singing career? <laughs> I definitely like to continue singing. Um, I, I feel like God has given me a tremendous gift, and I feel like if I don't use it, it w I would be doing myself an injustice. I agree completely. Okay. Kimberly, any special words of, w of advice for the new Miss America? Well, I just want to tell each and every one of you how proud I am of you, first of all, how much you have done for this organization, for the Miss America organization. We all love you. And to, all, to, to let you know that the new Miss America, you will have a wonderful year. It will be the best year of your life, and congratulations. Now we are going to get married, too, right? Huh? Not, you and, not me and Reed, you. Oh, I was wondering. <laughs> She's looking at me like, you are? You know, Kimberly had a boyfriend <laughs> last year at this time when you won. Do you still have the same boyfriend? I do. I was able to continue my relationship, uh, traveling 20,000 miles a month. I was still able to continue my relationship. Our relationship progressed, and we are engaged. I guess That's he great. feels it's worth waiting for. <laughs> If he's, it can last through the year you've been through. He's not going anywhere. No, he's, he's not, not going anywhere. We wish you all, all right. the happiness in the world, Kimberly. The judge is ready? Okay, the judges are ready now, checking over their final scores. At this time, each judge arrives at a final decision, but no one knows how those indiv individual votes will add up. All we know is this, that one of these young women who stand before us will be crowned America's most celebrated young woman of scholarship and achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, our final five. Miss Georgia, Andrea Crone, Southmore, University of Georgia, Platform, Child Abuse Prevention. Miss Alabama, Heather Whitestone, a junior at Jacksonville State University, Platform, Youth Motivation. Miss New Jersey, Jennifer Macris, 
a senior at Rider University. Platform, child abduction. Miss Virginia, Cullen Johnson, a graduate of Longwood College. Platform, multicultural awareness. Miss Indiana, Tiffany Storm, a graduate of Indiana University. Platform, breast cancer education. Okay. Now Jim Clancy of Price Waterhouse is here with the answers we've all been waiting all night for. Jim, Thank you, Jim. Sneaking up behind us. All right, Jim. <laughs> all right, very good. Let's do okay, it. Reach. Thank you, Jim. And now here are the final decisions by our distinguished judges. The fourth runner-up wins an $8,000 scholarship, and she is Miss Indiana Tiffany Storm. Third runner-up, winner of an $11,000 scholarship, Miss Georgia, Andrea Crow. Second runner-up wins a $14,000 scholarship, and she is Miss New Jersey, Jennifer Alexis Backwards. Take this. Now, here we are now, down to two. And you know that leaves Miss Alabama and Miss Virginia. One of you beautiful ladies will win a $20,000 scholarship to continue your education. The other will win a $35,000 scholarship plus the crown and the title of Miss America. In addition, her college or university will also receive $25,000 for its scholarship fund from the Miss America organization in Waterford Crystal. Okay, Reach. Okay, this is it, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of a $20,000 scholarship is Miss Virginia Cullen Johnson. And the new Miss America 1995, Miss Alabama, Heather Whitestone. America pageant. Heather Whitestone is just beginning her reign. She'll be back next year along with you, we hope, for the grand 75th anniversary of America's best loved celebration. Until then, God bless you all from Atlantic City. Thanks, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Travel furnished by Continental, proudly offering more non-stops to and from the New York area than any other airline. Continental, it's more airline for your money. Tonight's 74th annual Miss America pageant has been brought to you by Chevrolet. The cars and trucks 36 million people depend on every day. That's genuine Chevrolet. By Fruit of the Loom, clothes that make you feel good. By Rembrandt, 
for the cleanest, whitest teeth possible. Visit your dentist regularly. And buy lasting color from Loving Care. Longer-lasting way to gently get rid of gray. Only from Clairol.